Hi, I'm Doug Kewitt. Today we are climbing up inside the Cape Henry Lighthouse in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Not that younger lighthouse, that one was lit in 1881. I'm talking about this lighthouse that was first lit in October 1792. Owned and operated by Preservation Virginia, the old Cape Henry Lighthouse was the very first federal project completed by the new United States of America. The base of the lighthouse is 13 feet thick and built from the same quarry stone that was used in the U.S. Capitol building. It was paid for by fees levied on incoming ships and the imported goods they carried, sort of like a gas tax to pay for the infrastructure to benefit the nation. This February day, the temperature was in the high 70s, so the walls were wet with condensation as we make our way to the spectacular view at the top. Almost at the top. The lighthouse stands at the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay at Cape Henry. On a clear day, you can see four light towers at once. 20 miles across the bay is the Cape Charles Lighthouse. The Chesapeake Light Tower is 15 miles out in the Atlantic Ocean, marking the entrance to the Chesapeake Bay, and the newer Cape Henry Lighthouse is just a few yards away. Today is pretty windy. The wind is from the southwest with gusts up to 35 miles an hour. From the top, we felt the lighthouse sway a bit in the wind, but shook it off as we took in this view. goes up must come down as we end our visit to the Cape Henry Lighthouse located on the north end of Virginia Beach inside the base at Fort Story, another Hampton Roads treasure. Thanks for watching. I'm Doug Kewitt.